In this tutorial, I will show you how you can use ifrit function in PHP. ifrit is a very useful function for uh, reading the content of any type of file using PHP script. And this is the uh, syntax of this function uh, that can take two arguments, file handler and the length. Uh, here, the file handler um, will be created when you open a file for reading or writing or uh, appending. So, to use the ifrit function, you have to use the if open function also. Uh, uh, this tutorial shows various uh, use of ifrit function. First of all, I will create a text file to see the use of this function. So, you can uh, create it any editor. Uh, to create the text file. And uh, save the file name as I am storing it in a docs folder, the same location where the PHP file will be stored. I will keep the file names employees dot txt. Okay, our txt file is created. Now I can go for the next step. Uh, reading the particular content of a text file. That means I, if you don't want to read uh, the full content of any file or particular part of the file or number of bytes of content from the file, then you can use this script. Mm, so first of all, I will create a PHP file with this script and I will explain the code. this is the file and uh, I will save it in a docs folder under php folder f1 dot ph okay uh, here uh, first the file name is defined here that I have uh, created in my previous step employees.txt and next if open function is used to open the file in read mode so for reading here r is used and next here 30 30 means 30 bytes and second arguments is used here so uh, the file will not read the full content of employees.txt it will read only the first 30 bytes from employees.txt and next, uh, how much content it has uh, been written by this line will be printed here. And if close is uh, used to close the file handler. Now I will uh, run it from here. Browser. You can open any browser and uh, run this file. This is my file. Here you can see the output. And uh, this is the output from the employees.txt file. And this is the first 30 byte of the file. And now I will go for the next example. Read the full content of the text file. So here I will not use the second argument because I want to read the full content. So I will create another new file. Save the text. And uh, first of all, I will save it uh, with the name if 2php Okay. In the same way, the file is open for reading. And here, in the second argument, no uh, numeric data is used. File size is another PHP's built-in functions to read the total number of bytes of the files. So it will read the, um, how many bytes the file exists in uh, employees.txt and this will be used as, as the second parameter of every function. That means it will read the full content of the file and that is printed here. So now if I uh, run, the, run this script, then the output is 
like this and that is the full content of the employees.txt and no new nylon is used here so it is printed the full content uh, in just one line now i will go uh, for the next example read the content of a binary file here an uh, image file is read and uh, how the image content can be read by using fread is shown in this example. So first I will create the file. Uh, in this case, uh, you have to use uh, B also with R that means it is opening a file for reading and the file type is binary if you uh, just use r that means it will be any text file and uh, here uh, the file same way the file size is read and full content is stored in dollar content variable and uh, this content is not human readable uh, the user only read the image file here uh, the file name is used here uh, as flower.jpg so this file must be exist in the uh, this location to read this file so uh, I will keep a file uh, name image flowers.jpg in the PSP location and then I will run this script one image is stored in the PHP folder to see the tax of this uh, script and the image name is flower.jpg I can uh, open the image. This is the image. Uh, first of all, I have to save the script. I didn't save it. So I will save it to f3. Okay. You have to set the proper uh, file name here. So I will uh, type here. HTTP localhost PHP and uh, under this load object. Now I will run the file and uh, it is showing that it line number three greater than zero what's the file content but that means it is not able to read this way so uh, for the local server uh, it is not uh, able to reading the file path like this so i have to type the local folder path here that is jam slash now I will again uh, check the script is working or not. Now you can see the script is working. So uh, localhost is not uh, recognized by the script here. But if you provide any external uh, link or online link of any MS, then you can do it properly that I will show in the next example. So, uh, go for the next example. Uh, read the file from the external link. Okay, uh, in the example 4, which is the last example of this script, I will show you how you can use um, external link uh, for uh, how you can read external file from uh, any website uh, using a uh, read function. So first a text file is used here and next a uh, binary file is used. So first of all I will create this script. So here I will create this script. And save the script as a for dot VHV.
here uh, you can see uh, one uh, text file samples of txt that will be appear from this url uh, from this classroom.com and uh, it will be open in read mode because it is a text file and it will read the uh, 1024 bytes from the file and next and uh, binary uh, image file is a uh, link of a binary image file is set here and in the same way it is encoded using best 64 encode uh, like the previous example and uh, converted into a binary data that is using image stack now i will run this code if the file exists in the server then it will show the count So this is the content of the text file, this is a sample text file and uh, this is the image which is mentioned here photo.jpg. So I think uh, now the use of uh, every function is clear for the viewer. Thank you for watching.